Assassin's Creed Uwu. <laughs> Imagine a Genshin Impact Assassin's Creed game when all your assassins are like hot anime girls or whatever. Oh no. Can I just say? I hope the UI stays the way it is. Oh shit. What the fuck? It actually looks like you have powers in this game. Which, you know what? I'm kind of on board for that. Apparently there's a new Assassin's Creed coming out. I didn't even know. Assassin's Creed Mirage release date has been brought forward by a week. Ubisoft has also confirmed that the game has gone gold ahead of October's release. Mirage's development is being led by Ubisoft's Bordeaux. I don't even know how to say that. Bordeaux. The studio behind the Wrath of the Druids expansion has Creed Val Valhalla. Build is a love letter to the original Assassin's Creed. Gameplay is focused on parkour, stealth, and assassinations. Oh, marking a return to the action-adventure style of games released prior to the more expansive RPG-style series entries, Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. I'm actually really glad to hear this. I have not been keeping up with my Assassin's Creed whatsoever. And why is that? Well, the games got really stale very fast, in my opinion. And the RPG style that they go for, like, they, they pretty much just, like, copy-pasted what um, Metal Gear Solid V did. A lot of games went to, to this open world, of, uh, like, setting instead of what they were usually doing, because I, I feel like Metal Gear Solid V really set the footprint for that. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. But if it goes actually back into stealth, parkour, and just assassinations instead of all this RPG crap that I just don't care about, I might actually look at the newest game because last time I played an Assassin's Creed was Black Flag because it was a pirate shooting game. Although I really dislike the Assassin's Creed part of that, but I really enjoyed the pirate uh, ship shooting game. <laughs> Ubisoft showed 8 minutes of Assassin's Creed Mirage gameplay in June. Oh, I have to, we have to check that. And the game's director, uh, creative director, Stephanie Boudon, said in, in July that Ubisoft wasn't planning to release any Assassin's Creed Mirage DLC. Oh, wow. So it's like actually finished and they won't like, you know, give me a slice of DLC because they cut it off the main game. Ubisoft revealed future roadmap for Assassin's Creed franchise last September. Oh, let's check this out. Revealed at the event held in Paris this week, attended by VG uh, Video Game uh, Chronicles, Ubisoft confirmed the next two flagship Assassin's Creed games after next year's Assassin's Creed Mirage, codenamed Red and Hex, will release as part of a new, uh, new Infinity franchise hub. The Live Service Initiative announced last year. Oh boy, Live Service, I'm scared. I'm scared. Red which is being made by Odyssey developer Ubisoft Quebec as the same creative director, is the next big Valhalla-like flagship title. Set in feudal Japan! Let's go! Dude! You know how long the Assassin's Creed fanbase have been screaming at Ubisoft to make a... like a Japanese Assassin's Creed, like being actually in feudal Japan? We've been screaming at them for so long. It took us 10 years, boys. It took us 10 years. We finally did it. Finally. They're listening, guys. It took them a while, but they're listening. It begins what Ubisoft is calling the period 3 in the Assassin's Creed series, meaning that this is unlikely to be a 2024 game. Fuck! <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. So this is Hex, right? Oh, this is Jade. And then there's uh, this one, which is in Japanese. We're gonna have to check those trailers, man. I'm I'm actually really excited now. What the fuck? Actually being excited for the Assassin's Creed franchise? Like, holy shit, what? Man, now there's three games that I'm excited for. Fuck, dude. Hopefully they do good. Ubisoft has been kind of killing it lately, in my opinion. I've been, I think they've been doing fairly well. Like, out of all, like, huge uh, companies, I think Ubisoft has been, has been doing really good for themselves. And actually respecting the player base lately, so... I, I feel like it's been good so far. Maybe there's some, some some stuff I don't know about them because I've been I haven't been really following them as much lately. But we'll announce the uh, the dates later on. But we want to mark a change technologically and gameplay wise as we're moving to a fully next gen or current gen, I guess we call it, with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X series uh, series boss Mark Alexis told we just see the future of Assassin's Creed games interview. Ooh, I need to check that later too. The second flagship title announced on the roadmap is codenamed Hex. This is being made by Ubisoft Montreal. Oh, the creators of Far Cry 3, Watch Dogs Legion, 
let Clint Hawking is the creative director. Nice. Far Cry 2 was very loved. Very, very loved. I liked it. Uh, details are thin, but it appears to, to have a horror slant. And Kotal VGC, it would provide a different experience in terms of the game and game structure. Assassin's Creed Invictus is a standalone multiplayer game that is being put together by multiplayer specialists drawn from the talent for, for, within the For Honor and Rainbow Six teams. What? It's going to be a specifically multiplayer game? What the fuck? What the fuck? That is wild. I don't know how I feel about that, although... A lot of people did enjoy the multiplayer version of Assassin's Creed on, um, what was it, the, 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 the quote-unquote third game, you know, the, the second Ezio game, I, f I forget the name for it for some reason. Was it Brotherhood? I, I, I forget. I think it was Brotherhood, but, um, yeah, that one had, like, a multiplayer portion, and it was, it was kind of fun, although I didn't play it extremely a lot, I played, like, maybe 10 hours of it, and uh, it was kind of, eh, like, that was enough for me. Finally, Ubisoft confirmed two upcoming mobile games, oh, no. Oh no, one is a mysterious collaboration with Netflix, which will possibly tie into its upcoming live action series with the- with- Oh really, there's a live action series coming? Oh man, we're gonna have a, a, a Assassin's Creed overdose, I guess, again. Kind of like in the mid to- <laughs> mid to, uh, 2010s, where we had Assassin's Creed overdose again. I hope they don't overdo it. Assassin's Creed codename Jade is described as a AAA RPG action adventure game for mobile platforms set in ancient China. Oh, that's what we saw here, yeah. I, I, I see, I see. That's why it kind of looks mobile-y. Strangely, Code could not talk about whether this is a code developed with Tencent as it is widely expected to be. Uh, we would bet that this being a Genshin Impact-like open world adventure with live events and deep character upgrade and customization systems. That's how these kind of free-to-play games work. Dude, Assassin's Creed Uwu. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Imagine a Genshin Impact Assassin's Creed game where all your assassins are like hot anime girls or whatever. Oh no. <laughs> that would be funny, dude. What the hell? I don't, I don't know about the mobile games. I'm definitely not interested in that, but I am interested in their three upcoming games. That's going to be exciting, dude. I fucking can't wait. This is going to be awesome, dude. Finally, an Assassin's Creed happening in Japan. Oh, uh, code name red. Okay, let's check this out really quickly. I'm very curious. Let's go. Let's go! Ah, oh, so exciting, dude. Holy shit. That is so fucking exciting. Actually getting a Feudal Japan Assassin's Creed. That's- it's literally all we wanted. It's- at least I think so. I wanted it, I know that's for sure, and I heard a lot of people talk about it a very long time ago. Oh, gotta be so fucking cool. Yeah, one is gonna be a horror type of- will include like some horror shit, yeah. I was gonna be so excited though. Like, I, them actually experimenting is uh, very cool. And I like that Mirage, the newest one coming out, is going back to like old school Assassin's Creed. And they're valuing more about the parkour, uh, the only the assassinations, and like actually stealth. So, this will definitely not be um, a very popular game, but it's gonna be a very loved game. Because remember, guys. Uh, biggest problem with Ubisoft games, in my opinion, is they always try to diversify the game so everyone will play it. So it's going to be liked by everyone, but loved by nobody. And that's my opinion, anyway. Um, so I really hope they, they really focus and hone on specific game mechanics that, like, diehard, like, fans of things uh, would like, you know? Because then games will be loved by certain people, and that's huge, you know? That's really huge. We're gonna have to check the Mirage one, man. Let's check the Mirage trailer. 18. I, I haven't watched it uh, at all, so... I have no idea what it's about. And then we'll go back to Tarky. Basim, Abneus Hawk. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? I am.
Ready to sacrifice everything you held close. I really hope they show some gameplay. It's four minutes long, so I, I hope it's not just cutscenes. I am. Actually experimenting? Yeah, dude, for sure. Cut your finger. Do it. Yeah, I saw the finger. Oh. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Yeah, this is feeling like some old school shit right now. I'm loving this. Yeah, he did chop it off. Old school Assassin's Creed. Uh, in order for them to use the hidden blade, they had to chop off the finger, or else it just wouldn't work. You'd be stabbing your finger or whatever. Blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. What were those gas mines? What the fuck? <laughs> nice. On this day forward, you are a hidden one. Nice, he did he did the thing. He did the dive. Clap, 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 clap. I enjoy that. That was a good trailer. Oh shit. What the fuck? Is there- Assassin's Creed Mirage coming 2023. What the fuck was that, dude? Uh, is this the was part of the horror elements? What the fuck is that, dude? Holy, I really hope they add more horror elements. That sounds really fun, honestly. That sounds really fun. I want to see them make it work. October 5th? All right, all right. Oh, I guess I'm going to make sure I have some time to play it when it comes out. I love the horror idea. Me too, man. Me too. This is exciting, dude. That was a good trailer, even though there was no combat or like, like actual gameplay. That was still a very nice trailer. Let's see if we can find like the gameplay. I want to see the gameplay a little bit. Gameplay walkthrough? Ah! Let's skip around, yeah? Let's skip around. <laughs> Sorry, the music. Okay, not bad. Dude. There you are. Can I just say, I hope the UI stays the way it is. This, this is perfect. There's barely anything covering the screen. You got your super minimalistic compass. You know, you got your alert threats, I think, at the bottom right. I, I'm not sure what that is yet. 
Then you got your HP, and I don't know what that is, stamina? And then your items that you're using. This is super clean. Because one of the things that have really annoyed me the past 10 years with Ubisoft games is there's a million things in the UI, and pretty much it's holding your hand non-stop, dude. I feel like I'm always being watched over because the, the UI just won't fucking annoy, like, won't stop annoying me, right? It's always in the way, it's always flashing something, there's always, like, it's just breaking my immersion, you know? So this this is looking good. Oh, that's cool. Time to vanish. How do we feel about this, guys? It feels a bit more realistic right now. You see how the movement is less, like... Less, like, snappy? It's more, like... A bit grounded, I almost feel. A little bit. I don't know if they meant to do that, but it, it feels a little bit slower, which I'm o almost okay with it. It feels... alright. Okay, those are some crazy jumps. Okay, okay. Okay, those were some nuts jumps, but okay, all right. Reminds me of OG Assassin's Creed, right? Same, dude. This is fun looking. Hey, Druid. Yeah, so far this is looking really good. Um, so fun fact, the first Assassin's Creed is still my most replayed Assassin's Creed game of all time. Uh, right next to Assassin's Creed 2, and of course, you knew, like, I already told you, like, Brotherhood was my last game, more or less. I finished that game, and then, um, Black Flag, I played it, but I never finished it, because I didn't want to do the lame-ass Assassin's Creed parts, you know? <laughs> I wanted to be a pirate. <laughs> so, this is really exciting, seeing it go back to its roots and maybe have more stealth involved, because I love stealth games, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but... Almost none of the Assassin's Creed games are stealth, <laughs> okay? All right, they're not stealth games. I'm sorry to say so. The, to me, like, the modern the modern Assassin's Creed game is pretty much a reskinned Batman, okay? You're just fighting constantly. And while the fighting is awesome and flashy, uh, that's not what I personally want for an Assassin's Creed game. Although, you know, others may want something else, which is fine. But for me, when I hear an Assassin's Creed, you know, like, I think of a stealth game. I don't know. That's just me. I am glad you are safe. That is the only one I have beaten is the first one, and I love it so much. Let's go! Let's go! Alhamdulillah. A first of many achievements to come, Basin. We should only hope. There's still much work to do. While our focus was on Al Ghul, Fula quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. <laughs> What is with her voice? <laughs> I have smoked 15 packs of cigarettes this very morning. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Continue. Continue. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Ebed and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to Al Abyssia and Karh. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karh. Where corruption is as common as the arid air. As the, uh, See, Abu as Jaffa, the arid air. He's been working on. Then come find us. What a voice. Very interesting voice. Have a look, Basim. I may have something that is of interest to you. Oh, shop? Okay. Blow dart. A sound projector capable of putting targets to sleep can be modified to apply poison or cause it uh, uh, cause a fit of rage. <laughs> nice. Cocaine. Cocaine right into your veins. Resourceful as always. My thanks, Abu Jafar. Dude, this is so exciting, actually, dude. I didn't expect to be looking forward this year to, for an Assassin's Creed game. That's that's a unique uh, aspect of the year. She's been chain smoking for 19 years. <laughs> she doesn't feel it anymore, so she needs 20 packs a day, dude. Pass time, that's cool. I like that you can just pass time by sitting. That's good, that's good. This is the place. 
What do you see, Enkidu? Whoa! Let us reconsider the approach. Looks like they're still using the birdie mechanic from uh, Assassin's Creed. What, Origins was it? I don't know if Odyssey also had it, but Origins, I remember, had it. Classic hay bale. Wow, those are pretty. Oh, you can see their line of sight. Okay. Oh. Odyssey has it? Okay. God who likes me said she and Ali's followers are trying to overthrow the prince. What madness. They will surely fail. Cool, they actually talk? That's awesome. That's some world building there. That's really cool. Okay, guys, personally, I never liked this whole, like, oh, there's a dense, like, really tall grass or flowers, and you're somehow hidden. Personally, I, ne I never liked that. Is that weird? Like, I almost preferred, like, if he, like... <sighs> is there... That makes me think, is there any Assassin's Creed game where you can prone? Because I feel like in this situation, I would be like, no, you have to prone to be hidden here. I would love a proning mechanic in Assassin's Creed. I think that would be really, really convenient, actually. I think that'd be cool. You know, more more ways of approaching with, uh, with proning and crawling, you know? My chat just disconnected, by the way, so I don't know if I'll see your messages. I don't know why. And it's back. Okay. Dude, did you just shoot him in the in the right butt cheek? Hold up, hold up. Hmm. Again, I can't I can't thank Ubisoft enough for actually listening about the UI memes that you know everyone has done on the internet. And now the UI is just so much more cleaner. I really do hope though I can customize the UI as much as I want, because I would remove most of it either way. I, I think the only only thing I would uh, keep is the compass, honestly. But that's just a personal thing. Never has there been a problem mechanic as has great, which is fascinating, right? I totally should, in my opinion. Is that a bomb? What? <laughs> what? Oh shit! Oh, throwing knife! All right. That felt like it. Um, that felt like the mechanic from Metal Gear Solid Five. When you get spotted, you have like a second or so to react to what to do. That that really felt like that. Interesting. Going up upstairs with CSGO esque. Let's see really quick. Oh, you're kind of sliding up? Yeah, yeah, I feel ya. I feel ya. You know what's funny? The only game that has has done stairs, uh, stair animations really well, is um, uh, GTA. For, out of all games, GTA did it really well. Or like, um, like Max Payne 3. If you look at the animations there, they're so good for like going up the stairs. I don't know how devs don't don't do that. Maybe it's just kind of like a like a whatever thing, you know, like a... Hey. Bye, Archer. The sky is safe, my friend. Survey the area in Kido. I see. So he had to kill the the watching archer from for him to be able to scout with his eagle. I see, I see. Okay, because I was like, wow, that, that was really easy for him to get in there. Okay, I see. There is my target. Yeah, GTA 5 feels super smooth with uh, uneven terrain. Yeah. Do archers randomly kill birds? Uh, who knows, right? That bird is a spy. <laughs> A bird, the assassins are here. <laughs> Help! 
Wait, are we killing all of them? Is, is this like Deadeye from like Red Dead Redemption? <laughs> what is this? Are, are we playing McCree from Overwatch? Are we high nooning? What is this? What the fuck? Whoa! Holy shit, we're a ghost. What what the fuck? What? I wish to know. What, what no the fuck? Die this day. I want to be Tracer. <laughs> I'm already Tracer. That's what it felt like. <laughs> Our Assassin's Creed character is like Tracer's ancestor. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> That was interesting. <laughs> oh, the music. Poison gas. Come on. Dude, the music right now. Is he still being chased or did he get out already? Yeah. It actually looks like you have powers in this game. Which, you know what? I'm kind of on board for that. That makes it a little bit exciting. You know? That actually makes it quite exciting. That, that is pretty cool. Maybe I understand why it's called Mirage a little bit, you know? You know, like, oh, optical illusion, you know? Maybe you're a ghost somehow of some sort. I don't fucking know. They can go so many ways. But yeah, that, that was a bit of Shadow of War stuff, huh? That, that was kind of like that, Torzer. You're kind of right. Because that actually excited me, and I, I haven't been excited for an Assassin's Creed game in a very, very, very long time. Like, that's... that's kind of awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm very impressed, dude. Like, wow.